Hello everyone, this is Tom from Board Game Fanatics. Today I bring you a playthrough of The Gathering Arkham Horror LCG with Jenny and Ash Ken Pete. If you enjoyed this playthrough, please subscribe to our channel for more goodies. The decks being used you can find at ArkhamDB. The links will be down below in the comments. During this recording we had some problems with the camera filming Ashkin Pete's hand. We apologize for this and promise to make it better next time around. Friday, September 18th, 1925, Arkham, Massachusetts. It's the end of a long and abnormal hot summer. The first hints of autumn beckon, but a heavy heat persists, relentless. A silent, unspoken anger grips the town. Tempers are short, and in the last week alone there's been numerous reports of town people coming to heated, violent blows with one another over simple misunderstandings. And now, a call from James Hankerson. He claims to have found a dismembered body in his barn. Blaming the weather would be too easy. There's something wrong with this town, and not a whole lot this old soothsayer can do to stop the slide. My aguees indicate a small group of investigators will soon take note of these strange happenings and set forth to make things right. I'll be watching for their progress but I won't be holding my breath. You and your partners have been investigating strange events taking place in your home city of Arkham, Massachusetts. Over the past few weeks, several townsfolk have mysteriously gone missing. Recently, their corpses turned up in the woods, savaged and half-eaten. The police and newspapers have stated that wild animals are responsible, but you believe there's something else going on. You are all gathered together at Jenny Barnes' home to discuss these bizarre events. Um, can I start reading? We are playing The Gathering. I'm playing Ashken Pete. I'm playing Jenny. Um, standard difficulty. Uh, we're gonna do the scenario of one first, and then we'll see if we do side missions in between. It is late at night. You're holed up in your study, researching the bloody disappearances that have been taking place in the region. A few hours into your research, you heard the sound of a strange chanting coming from your power down the hall. At the same time, you hear dirt churning as if something are digging beneath the floor. As you leap to investigate, the door to your study vanished before your eyes, leaving behind only a solid wall. You are trapped inside your study until you can find another way out. You have been investigating the strange events occurring in Arkham for several days now. Your desk is covered in newspaper articles, police reports and witness accounts. The door to your study has vanished. How much to advance? We need four clues to advance. And three to... Yeah, so we need to pick up all the clues. Okay. I'm first player. Okay. Uh, do you want to go first or should I? Uh, you can start. Okay. Then I use two resources. And I play Arcane Studies. And I use three more resources to play Dark Horse. And then I will investigate. Yep. You're up by one. Yeah. Two. Two. Oh yeah. Dark one. Minus 
one. I hope. So that's a success. My turn? Yes. I play Rabbit's Foot. And I play Dark Horse. Then I'm gonna use Duke to investigate. Uh, so I'm up by two as well. Go. Minus X. X is the number of ghoul enemies at your location. Success. Right. And then I'm done. done. Uh, untap Duke. Then we can draw. Gain a resource. Sack for fish, fish or beast. Monster, dark yawn. I don't want Jenny bound deck only. Spawn. Location farthest from you. Jenny Bonds cannot gain resources via card effects. Okay, so he spawns at our location. Yes. Uh, he, eng he engages one of you, right? Us, right? Correct. Uh, I can take him. I don't think I had a chance. Okay. But card effect, that's also my investigator, correct? Can be a card effect. I... maybe. Yeah, okay. Sure. The Grim Root. Yep. Uh, okay, then we place one Doom. Yep. And then you can draw on the counter card. Counter card. Frozen in Fear. Put Frozen in Fear into play in your treasure area. First time you perform one of the following actions move, fight, or away each round, it costs you one additional action. Forced at the end of your turn, test will power 3. If you succeed, discard frozen in fear. Now I get rotting remains. Test will power 3. For each point you fail, take one horror. Um, so I have will power 4, so I'm up by 1. Minus zero, because he is not a ghoul. Mm. So I made it, and then it's our turn. Uh, if you don't mind, I will start since I have That's enemy okay. on um, I'm gonna attack him with Duke. I'm gonna commit, not without a fight. So I get plus two fight. Uh, one with a skeleton, and one because each enemy engaged with me. So I have six, he has four. Up by two. Up by two. Minus one. Right. That's two damage. And then I'm gonna use Ashkan's ability to discard a card to untap Duke. I'm gonna attack again. I'm gonna commit resourceful, so I'm up by one. Um, helping you. Um, is, I'm committing unexpected courage. So I'm up by three. Minus two. Right. Thank you. <laughs> and then I can, because of resourceful, I can pick up. Not without a fight. And he's dead. Then, as my last action, I will try and um, investigate with my own ability, which is two intelligence, so um, equal. Minus two failed. Then I can tap Rabbit's Foot to draw a card. Might as well? Yeah. Uh, I think I'll just investigate up by two. Alright. Then we have four clues and we can advance. 
You notice the edges of your newly purchased rug are tattered and mud-stained. Finding this odd, you shift the furniture aside and pull back the rug. To your surprise, you see the door leading out of your study. You slowly turn the knob and the door swings open, revealing your hallway below. You jump through the doorway, landing on your feet on the soft dirt. The door slams shut above you. The smell of burning wood fills the narrow hall, intermingling with the scent of rot and decay. Um, put into play the set-aside hallway, cellar, attic, and parlor. So, discard each enemy in the study, place each investigator in the hallway. Remove the study from the game. If we'd been smart, you would have gone first and just picked up the right. clues. <laughs> Okay, uh, so hallway, here. A moment of panic and disorientation strikes as you land upon the floor of the hallway. The world spins as if turned on its head. And the parlor, it reads, The entrance to the parlor is blocked by a darkly glowing unfathomable barrier. You cannot move into the parlor. You are unsure what would happen if you tried to cross the threshold of the strange barrier, but based on its extreme heat, you sure as hell won't try. Um, and new act says, when the round ends, investigators in the hallway may, as a group, spend a requisite number of clues to advance. So we have to be in the hallway. Um. A glowing barrier blocks the path to your parlor. As you move toward it, intense heat forces you to back away. Picking up a handful of dirt, you toss it at the barrier and watch in horror as the dirt incinerates. Perhaps there's something in the cellar or attic that can help. Okay. You use your clue. Yeah. Do you have any actions left? No. Yes, one. One action. The walls of your house are splattered with mud, and your hardwood floor is gone, replaced with a dirt path. One, zero clues. So, where do you want to go? Um, if I remember correctly, the cellar is hard to investigate. Okay. I'm not really up for hard investigate at the moment, so I'll probably go to the attic. Okay, then I can go down to the cellar. Okay. I think I'll just move at once. Cellar. Forced route, two clues per investigator. Forced. After you enter the cellar, take one damage. The stairs leading down to your cellar are slick and they glisten with a thin layer of ice. Your cellar seems to have been replaced with an underground network of icy tunnels and caverns. The cold chills you to the core. One victory. How, how many clues do we need to... We need four. Now six. six. Then I'm finished. Okay, and then I'm gonna untap my cards. You should test the uh, frozen oh, appearance. Correct. correct. Up by one. No success. Oh, wait a minute. Could you move? Does it say it cost one additional? Correct. Yeah, then you cannot pay the cost and you can't really move. Okay, so then I'll can just redo. Yeah. I think I'll just stay there and draw a card then. Well, I'll, I'll take a resource. Okay. But, but then I can... Okay. <laughs> Next time. Okay. And uh, then I'm gonna untap my cards. Uh, we can draw a card. Then we can draw our resource. I'm very ready for the group at the moment. That's good. 
I Well, okay, well, I need some horror first. And then we... I don't want resources. Take resources. Two. And then we place one more doom. And you can draw this. Ooh, minion. Look at that. Then for me, I get obscuring fog. So our location gets plus two shroud, which doesn't really do anything. Okay. Um, I can take your minion. Okay. So I'll start. Yep. Yeah. I'll engage him. It. I'll hit him while he's at your, your location. Okay. Committing not without a fight, so I'm up by three. And. Plus one! Hooray! Okay, he's dead. That was a Duke action. That was Duke. Um, then I'm gonna move up into the attic, I think. I'm gonna. Oh yeah, after you enter the attic, take one horror. The smell of rotten meat assaults your nostrils as you approach the attic stairs. The bloody carcass of a malformed beast swings from a meat hook chained to the ceiling. Blood drains slowly from the carcass, dripping into a small barrel. Four clues. And then as my last action, I'll draw a card. And I'm done. Okay, then I move down here. Okay, <coughs> I move down to the basement. Hmm, maybe I shouldn't do that. Okay, I move down to the basement. Casting you two actions, yeah? Yeah, correct. i play half knocks. Okay. Then I'll do a test for the Frozen in Fear. Yeah. Using... Um, you take one damage as you move into the... Correct. Sound correct. Of then I... Use one resource to boost my willpower. So then I have five against three. Uh oh. Success. You're done? Yeah. Then I untap the Duke. We can draw a card. And we can gain resources. I don't want any. And then gain resources. Take two. Um, new round, Mythos. Uh, third Doom is placed in advance. Your house continues to change before your very eyes. The walls have decayed and the ground in many rooms has turned to dirt. It's almost as if you have been transported somewhere else entirely. Although every now and again you recognize elements from your former home. The floor beneath you is giving away and you see a vast network of tunnels twisting into the darkness below. Shapes and silhouettes of strange creatures move swiftly through the tunnels, trying to find a way up. You probably don't want to be here when they do. The lead investigator must decide. Choose one. Either each investigator sculpts one card at random from his or her hand, or the lead investigator takes two horror. Sure, I can take two horror. 
Okay. Distant voices, so I can't play assets or events, which isn't the big problem with this deck. <laughs> uh, okay. New round. You wanna go first? Oh, you've got rats. So, if I pay one, I'm a up by three rats. Yep. Minus one. No, zero. Minus zero. Ah. I'm a ghoul enemy. Okay. Let's so that it. cost me two actions. Yep. And then I'll try to investigate. Okay. Using one, so um, up by one. Minus zero. Hooray! Success! Test frozen fear again. Correct. Mm -hmm. yeah. Then I'm going to investigate using Duke. Up by three. Success. Hooray. I'm gonna discard a card to untap Duke and do the same thing again. Zero. Success. Right. And then I'm gonna try and investigate with my two intelli intelligence. So I'm up by one. Minus two. That's a failure. I untap. I tap Rabbit's Foot to draw a card. And I'm done. Uh, Rabbit's foot and always failing the last action. <laughs> yeah. And then uh, we can untap our cards. We can draw a new card. We can uh -oh. gain resources. I choose not to. Oh yeah. This drawing the sign. This voice is discarded. Put drawing the sign into play in your threat. Uh, your maximum hand size is reduced by five. Well, actually. that's all right. You still it says three. Correct. That's perfect. Mm. Uh, okay. When, when uh, am I checking for maximum hand size yeah, at the end of the turn? Yeah, after you've done your after the investigation phase. Yeah. So top of new round, we place one doom. Yeah, and then. Encounter Ancient Evil. Plays one Doom on oh the no. current agenda. This effect can cause the current agenda to advance. Damn it. Dark force stirs against you. If you do not act quickly, a sinister plot will fulfill. I get Rotting Remains again. Test willpower 3. If each point you fail, take one horror. I'm um, up by one. Of course, our Rotten Remains are the average. Oh, tablet. Minus two. If there's a ghoul enemy at your location, take one damage. There are no ghouls here, but I failed by one, so I take one horror. I now have three centi remaining. Could you now use rabbit's foot? Oh yeah, I can. That's thank you. I use rabbit's foot to draw a card. Oh no! Exhaust all assets you control, racked by nightmares, and put racked by nightmares into play in your threat area. Assets you control cannot ready. As a double action, I can discard it. So I tap all of these, and it's top of our turn. 
you want to go first, or should I? Sure, I can go first. I use two action to discard this. Uh, and then I discard last chance to untap Duke. Then I investigate using Duke. So I'm up by three. That's an elder sign. Hooray. So I get to untap a card. I, I'll untap Duke again. Um, oh, I'll untap Rapid Switch. Probably won't matter. Uh, but I gain a clue. I'm done. Okay. My turn? Yep. I think I'll discard the following sign. And then I'll investigate using boosting by two. So I'm up by two. Okay. Hey ho! Hooray. So are we going to which way one? Or we are emptying all locations. Okay. <laughs> and that's my actions. Okay. Then I'll test for frozen and fear. One yep. so Up by one. No oh way. You've been frozen in fear for quite a while <laughs> now. Uh, okay, so we're done. We can untap our assets. What do you call it? Refresh? Is that what, it, what it's called? It? Refresh. Refresh. Yeah. Uh, and then we draw a card. We can gain resources. I choose not to. I'll take two resources. <laughs> the reason I'm frozen in fear is because I draw all my weaknesses. <laughs> I have been a. I've been unable to get rid of this one resource. <laughs> 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 the dark horse hasn't triggered yet. Uh, okay. So, Doom. And you can draw a counter card. Swarm of rats. Oh no. Oh no! More rats! A ghoul minion. Okay. okay. Our turn. You wanna go first or should I? You can go first. Okay. I try to kill the rats. Oh no. Up by three. Uh, and frozen up here. Yeah. Now I get three resources each round. Yeah. Right. Then I only uh, need Madam to. Woohoo! <laughs> Look! Minus one! Hey. Success! You overcome your fear. Uh, I'm going to attack my ghoul minion with Duke. I'm gonna commit resourceful, so I'm up by three. Very fitting that I draw a lone wolf when I get uh, rid <laughs> of the frozen in fear. Minus two. So that's a success. Go minion dies. I resource from triggers, so I can return a card to my hand. I'll return last chance. Then I'll discard last chance to untap Duke. Uh, investigate with Duke. I'm up by a three. Mm -hmm. Minus three, success. And then I think I'll just go into the hallway, awaiting your timely arrival. 
How is it? Uh, do we both need to be in the hallway? Well, we need to have six clues there, so yeah. Okay. Um, okay. They're all done. Yep. Then we can untap. Uh, refresh, sorry. We can draw a card. And we can gain resources. Taking two. Then we go into the myth mythos phase and place one doom, and you can encounter. So are we ready for the big bad? I am so ready. Grasping hands, revelation, test, agility, free. For each point you fail by, take one damage. Okay, so um, uh, at the moment, equal. Uh oh. That hurts. Three. And then I get. I'm half dead. A ravenous ghoul. Another ghoul. Okay. Could I go first? Yep. Uh, uh, is it. When I get here, we advance, or... At the end of the round. Okay. Then I'll try to investigate. Yep. Using quick thinking. Ooh, la. So you're up by one. Quick. No. Dark Horse hasn't kicked in yet, so you're equal. I'm up by one because of quick thinking. Yeah, but Dark Horse hasn't kicked in yet. Ah, correct, correct. So it's equal. No, you're up by one. Three. Okay. Uh, okay. Then I need to take. Hey, did you trigger a long wolf? No. Uh, yes, I think so. Okay. I don't remember. Let's say I did. So then I use two. I should have three coins. Yeah, yeah. Resources. You should have had three. So so one, two, three, six. Six. So up by up two. By two. Yeah. Okay. Well, And I think do I need more? No. Uh, famous last words. <laughs> <laughs> That's minus zero. Hooray! And then I get another action. Yep. So I get a clue. We've got three actions left. And then I'll uh, try to investigate another time. Okay. Two things. So three, four, five. I'm up by one. Up by one. Ditching Leo. Ooh. Up by two. And think of <gasps> feet. Up by three. Success! Hooray! And you still got two actions. two actions left. So then I'll come up to you. Yep. And now that I could take a resource to play Leo next turn. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, I'll draw a card. Okay. Prepare for the big betty. Ah, good point, good point. Alright, my turn. I am engaged with the Ravenous Ghoul. I'm going to attack him with Duke. And I'm going to spend a little bit of my cards here, which I have been saving up for the big <coughs> baddie. Hey! So vicious, he's coming. Vicious blow. What? Uh, I'm up by two, and not without a fight, which gives me two more, so I'm up by four. Okay. Over killing. I want to one hit him, hopefully. Mm. Minus zero. Hooray. So that's a success. He takes three damage. And he's dead. 
Then I've got two actions left. I'll prepare for the big Betty and draw some cards. Oh yeah. Um, then I'm done. Okay. Then we can refresh our cards. We can draw a new card. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. You know it. <laughs> and then. Resources. Uh oh. My heart is getting too heavy. My hand is getting too heavy. I don't know. Is it now that we're spending two clues? <laughs> oh yeah. Uh, we spend six clues. So, do you have any need for clues? No. Okay, spend three each then. Okay. Uh, oh, and we advance. Using the barrel from the attic, you carry ice and snow from the cellar and hurl it at the barrier. The barrier sparks and shudders as it consumes the ice, then hisses and fades out of existence. A woman with a torch stands in your parlor, a glimmer of hatred in her eyes. What have you done to my barrier? She screams, furious. Before you can answer, a ghastly wail sounds behind you, and a creature wearing robes and a deer skull mask tear through the wall, advancing toward you. The barrier blocking the passage into the parlor has vanished. Reveal the parlor. Put the set aside Lita Chandler into play in the parlor. Spawn the set aside Ghoul Priest in hallway. So his he is prey, highest fight, so that is you. What? He engages you. Uh oh. Um and Lita. So what I'm thinking. How how are you at parlaying? I can boost my poly. Okay, so would it be a good idea if... Okay, you, you, you have to go priest, yeah. So I can engage him first, attack him, but I won't get the bonus from Lita then. Well, we, we'll see. We'll see how it goes first. Let's draw our cards uh, how we're supposed to. So, one doom, and you yeah. can encounter. Cool minions. <laughs> and I get frozen in fear, which is not uh -oh. very timely. Okay. So, are you able to? I might uh, evade one of them. Yeah, you can evade the small one. Okay. And I'll engage the ghoul priest and attack him. Okay. So here's my suggestion. I go first, I engage him and attack, mm. then you evade and you try to get Lita. How's that? Okay. Uh, uh, how high parlay? Uh, the parlay skill is, while she's not controlled by a player, she gains parlay test intelligence 4. If you succeed, take control of Lita. That was just one check, actually. Um, did you take your resources? Yeah. Yeah. So too bad you won't get a lone wolf now. Correct. I was thinking the same thing. <laughs> uh, shall we try, as I suggested? Yeah. Okay. So I'll go first. I'll engage him. Yeah. yeah. And I'll That's attack him. That's two actions. No, not the engage. The attack okay. is two actions. Um, so I will commit double or nothing, Ooh, so nice. his difficulty is 8. I'm gonna attack with Duke, of course. I'm gonna commit, since I have 3 remaining sanity, Reckless Assault. I'll toss you a whiskey bubble. Okay. Committing hard knocks. I'm not sure, I'm not, I don't think I need it, but uh, <laughs> how okay. much does it give me? 1. one. So fi 4, 5, 6, 10 I've got. And then I'm gonna commit overpower and wreck vicious blows. So I'm oh. up by five. Nice. Uh, let's see how this goes. Minus mm -hmm. one. 
two, minus two. That's a success. He takes six damage. Ooh, nice. I can draw a card. <laughs> we had lead, so he was taking seven. Yeah, eight no, actually. Eight, yeah. And uh, if we'd, if I had kept the other, they should <laughs> blow. He would be dead. <laughs> One hit. Uh, overpower kicks in, so I can draw a card. And I'm done. Okay. So then I will have to try to evade this guy. Oh yeah, uh, let me test uh, Frozen and Fear first. Correct. Um, I'm up by one. I think I'm going to commit Unexpected Courage. I'm up by three. Okay. Quite fitting as well, Unexpected Courage and Frozen and Fear. Uh, that's minus two. If there is a ghoul enemy at your location, take one damage. So I take one damage. Okay. But I succeed at this thing. And I'm done. Yeah. So then I'll try to evade him. Uh, at the moment I'm up by one. Yep. So use one. Yep. Up by two. Is evaded. And then I'll move out here and I'll try to poly. Yep. Poly. Oh. Difficulty 4. Uh, using one on hard knocks. No, on fucking studies. So then I'm 4 and Dark Horse kicks in. 5. 5. 5. 1. Hey ho! Hey ho! What does that do? Plus, plus one for each piece of you have. Yeah. Okay, well, you got Diga. Hello! I can't remember last time I. <laughs> it's just as well that you didn't play Leo, actually. <laughs> Correct. Uh, okay, we're done? Yes. Then we can refresh our cards. Um, the. Wait, the Ghoul Priest attacks me first. Okay. So I take two damage and two horror. I place the horror on Duke and I'll take damage for myself. Uh, and then we can. He uh, refreshes right. and yeah. engages me. Okay. Then we can refresh our cards and then we can draw a card and get. Oh shit. <laughs> Internal injury. Oh. Put it into play in your threat area. At the end of your turn, take one direct damage. With two actions. Ouch! I can discard internal injury. Okay, taking two resources. I might come join you in the parlor <laughs> this round. But what will you do with. I, I thought I should come back in. Yeah, let's see. With Lita, I deal three damage on attack. Uh, 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 I can come in guns blazing. And just kill one of them. <laughs> yeah, you have no guns. <laughs> <laughs> but I can't stay here with internal injury. Okay. So I will. I have to take a breather and move out. Ha have we gone? No. Uh, do. And then you can encounter. What remains? So, even. Even is even. Mm. Minus two. So, two damage. Sorry, Lita. <laughs> Grasping hands. Test agility. For each point you fail, take one damage. This is starting to look bad. I... Equal. I will commit one survival instinct. Be up by one. Come on. Minus one. Hey, no damage. Okay. 
So my question will be, should I act first, try to kill one of them? Can you? Yes, you can. One, two. Well, yeah, you're not... With Lita, you're not so bad fighting, actually. Sure. Uh, Hard Knocks can... No, it can't boost fight. You can't boost Sure, it can. Oh, it can. Cool. Well, go for it. But, yeah, uh, Lone Wolf kicks in. Yeah. But, uh, I'm sorry to say I won't use the resources of Hard Knocks. Okay. Uh, oh, yeah, I, <laughs> I get what you're saying. I'll play uh, Derringer. Okay. Just don't shoot me. <laughs> two, two more actions. <laughs> I don't enjoy being shot. Two more actions. Yep. So I'll move in. Yep. Um. Who do you want me to kill? I don't want want you to kill the ghoul minion because I need him to escape. Okay. You need um, him to escape. So I can. Okay. I, if, wait, when I attack now. Before you move in. Yeah. Are you okay with the ghoul priest attacking you this round? One round. It's two of each. Yeah. So one, two. Yeah. I can survive it. One run. <laughs> <laughs> well, so can I, actually. So let's just fight it out. Let's duke it out. Okay. But I'll, I'll just think of one thing. Okay, I get plus one for her, her. Yeah. So it's four, five for Dark Horse, and two more for Danger. Yeah, so please kill the ghoul minion. Okay. Wait, the Danger gives plus one damage if you... Succeed by, by two, two or more. So what's your stat line? Three, four, three, five, four, six, five, seven. six, seven. So you have by three. Mm -hmm. And and then I'll have uh, plus one damage for Peter. Um, yeah. So it could be three damage. Wait, I won't survive if I stay here because of internal injuries. I forgot about that. Yeah. So. I don't... you must attack the ghoul priest. <laughs> okay. I need him to... Survive. How much fight does he have? He's got four. Okay. I'll try to fight him. And he got retaliate. That's worse. <laughs> okay, then Lita is going to die then. Yeah, okay. In worst case. But, yeah, okay. I think actually I'm going to die also. I have... I have one, two, three. I have three on me and two on her. So yeah. two so attacks. You, yeah, you can survive. survive two attacks. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Hey! Hooray! Plus oh. zero. That's three damage. Yes. I try, try. Three. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. He's got one hit point left. Mm -hmm. Do you have any actions? Nope. <laughs> so I don't think I can risk it. Cause if I miss I'm if I miss him, he retaliates me and I'm dead. Okay. So you know I'm up by zero if I attack him. I'm instead going to try and evade the ghoul minion using survival instinct. I'm up by two. I pray to pray and pray that this works. You were done, yeah. 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 Minus two. Woo! Yes. Hooray! So then I can evade him. I disengage from the ghoul priest, meaning he goes to you. Okay. <laughs> I get a free move, which is a free move into the parlor. Use my two remaining action to discard internal injury. Okay. So what are you going to do in the parlor? Uh, get rid of my internal injury. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> then I'm coming back next round. Okay. Uh, okay. We can. He attacks you first. Correct. So that's two health and two sanity. Uh, 
So 270 goes on Tita to help. Um, and then this guy engages you. Okay, hooray! Oh, sorry, forgot my ammo. So I used one. Yep. Two left. Two left. Then we can refresh our cards and draw a card and gain resources. Damn. Okay. So I should be able to kill one of them. Yep. I might actually be able to kill both of them. If, mm -hmm. I, I, if I try killing the ghoul priest first with my money. Yeah, you only need one hit instead. Yeah. And then I'll just attack him normally. Yeah. So, top of a new mythos phase. Uh oh. This guy advances. I think that's really bad actually. It uh, could be. Shuffle the encounter discard pile into the encounter deck. Okay. Discard cards from the top of the encounter deck until a ghoul enemy is discarded. The lead investigator draws that enemy. Hooray! I think I'm dead if you can't help. <laughs> I can probably help, I guess. It's but uh, maybe I should go first, killing as many as possible. Oh, oh what, and when do we advance? Is that when we kill the ghoul priest? Yeah, that's correct. Okay, so. Maybe I just should go first, trying to kill him. Sure. Seems good enough for me. And the new again agenda says, at the end of the enemy phase, each unengaged ghoul enemy moves one location towards the parlor. Unengaged, so really okay. one. Yeah. Yeah, yeah all engaged. Uh, I should draw here until I find the ghoul. Uh, discard until you. Yeah. Yeah. Good. Victory but, one. But he spawns on the attic. Yeah, and uh, then he spawns on the attic. But, okay, I'm sure. Yeah, it doesn't say disregard. Not okay, the but uh, he'll come down here. <laughs> yeah, he's moving in. Uh, at the end of the enemy phase. Okay. Uh, at the end of the round, place one doom on this again that reach ghoul enemy in the hallway. Or, pa or parlor. So. A feral beast, roughly humanoid. With a canine cast and hooves for feet, tears through the ground in front of you. Below the floor, you can see vast tunnels beneath your house. Fiendish, owling echoes from the deep within the underground caverns. You hear a crazed howl outside, and suddenly all the creatures turn their attention to that sound. They rush to escape the house breaking down doors and clawing at everything in their way. We get four doom on this. <laughs> then I should... Yep. Engage. Hooray! Spawn in cellar. Oh. Tempting. <laughs> no, it ain't. <laughs> Rotting remains. Test willpower three. For each point you fail, take one horror. I'm gonna commit guts. I'm... I have six. I'm up by three. Minus two is a success. I can draw a card from Guts. Hey, there we go. And then it's our turn. How do you want to do this? Uh, I'll just go first, try killing the Ghoul Priest. Alright. Okay, I'll um, commit quick thinking. Ooh! Then I'm so you get four. using two resources. Yeah, you get one for Lone Wolf now. Ah, well. correct. Three resources. Three, four. Knocking down some whiskey. So Eight. four, five, six, seven, ten. I'm up by five. Up by six. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yes, correct. This is it. We all know what you're gonna draw. And there's only one. Hey, you're five. 
seven because we forgot to count Lita. Ooh. Hooray! That's a success. That's a success. When the rope figure falls, the fiendish swarm burrows back into the ground, and the chaos of the house quiets. But the stranger in your parlor doesn't seem relieved. You broke my seal that was set to trap the ghouls within, she raises her torch. Now we must take a more direct measure and burn this help it to the ground. Lead investigator must decide, choose one. It was never much of a home. Burn it down. Or, this hell pit is my home. No way are we burning it. Okay, I'm burning the place. All Too right. many ghouls. Resolution 1. You nod and allow the red-haired woman to set the walls and floors of your house ablaze. The fire spreads quickly and you run out the front door to avoid being caught in the inferno. From the sidewalk, you watch as everything you own is consumed by the flames. Come with me, the woman says. You must be told of the great threat that lurks below. Alone, we are surely doomed, but together we can stop it. How many uh, points do, have, do we have in the wake tree display? One, two, four. three, four. Four, okay. Let's see, scenario solution one. You nod and allow the red-haired woman to set the walls and floors of your house ablaze. The fire spreads quickly and you run out the front door to avoid being caught in the inferno. From the sidewalk, you watch as everything you own is consumed by the flames. Come with me, the woman says. You must be told of the great threat that lurks below. Alone, we are surely doomed, but together we can stop it. The lead, in, the lead investigator earns the lead enchanter card. Mm -hmm. I should have been lead. <laughs> Uh, and then we get four experience points, finish, okay. We've got six points each. Six points each. And you suffered one mental trauma no. for burning down your house. Okay. So this is how it all ended. Pete and Jenny with six experience points each. And Jenny with a mental trauma. Please subscribe to our channel to get more episodes in the future.